You see it right there behind me, baby. Welcome to Fremont Speedway. Hell yeah. So the uh, Fremont Speedway Hall of Fame is right behind us in this white building. As you can hear, there's a lot of chaos going on. Uh, <laughs> there's not a huge, like, there's not a huge back deal here behind no. the grandstands, and they have, like, a band, and they have t-shirt trailers trying to come they in. It's almost tents a mess. Like, we were walking in there, some lady just told me to grab the corner of the thing to help set up the pop-up tent, and they, yeah. it's chaos. This band's playing, I don't know, but uh, it seems like there's a lot of action going on here, and hopefully we can be able to get into the museum here soon. This is pretty bad boy. We're down under the main grandstands here. And uh, as you can see, it is wood. And not very often do you see grandstands of this size that are wood still. So that's pretty cool. All wood under there. But uh, they said the Hall of Fame's gonna open around one or so, so. Check it out here soon, man. We gotta see it while we're here. We're only here once this year, so. Yeah, absolutely. And they also have like some cars in there and stuff from like back in the day, so. Hopefully there's some cool deals in there. That's crazy. So we made it down here into the Hall of Fame. These clips you're gonna see are just some stuff that's in here. Uh, they've got some pretty cool old Sprint cars here and a tons of die casts in these cases along with suits and whatnot, but uh, this place is pretty cool. So we're here, this is my first ever Ohio Walmart. I've been to other Walmarts, and let me tell you, the Walmarts compared to my house are nice, because the Walmart at my house is sketchy as hell. So uh, this is a big upgrade for sure, but we're here buying a lock box, and Tanner's also uploading one of his videos because he does not have Wi-Fi, and he edits on a laptop, so the hotspot isn't necessarily fast enough all the time, depending on his location, but I'm fortunate enough I upload and edit everything on my iPhone, so uh, I just upload it with my service and it goes it goes up fairly quick um, until everyone starts getting to the track, but right now we're in Walmart. How are you guys doing? Carly, what, did you find it? Yeah, my mom said it's a good deal. Only $20, it's not bad. It's a good deal. Everything's cheaper in Ohio. So the video is uploading. This cart's got hella reverse stagger. It wants to pull the frickin' right so bad. The stagger in this thing is insane. So you already know, when I'm in Walmart, just like yesterday, I had to go look at the die cast. Oh, we just dropped one. I found some more Hot Wheels for the studio. We've got the 20 Toyota Supra. Let's look at these. The Porsche 935, one of the greatest 24-hour race cars. Yeah. The 17.4 GT and a Porsche 993 GT2. So badass. So as you guys just saw, I had landed the drone. Another thumbs up for a flight well done and complete. We got some cool shots. I think one of my favorite things about this is it's almost like one of those like, I don't even know, like gadgets or scenes you see in a movie where I literally sit in the second story of the sprint car hauler. Like I said, I have the porthole above me right there and then I uh, put the drone right up literally like two feet above me one foot to the right on the top of the roof here sit back down in here relax and I take off and fly I fly everything off of my phone screen I do a quick little peripheral check with my eyes based on takeoff and then I know when I get to a certain flight height or the flight deck uh, I'm clear I'm not gonna hit anything so it's a lot of fun to fly the drone and I don't think a lot of people are fans of it or people see the drone and they maybe get spooked but I'm pretty confident now that I could probably fly it over the cars while they race and or in the corner and get some pretty good looking shots you know since my Hanford vlog 
that was the first time I tried to film racing with the drone and it, it was pretty difficult but I'm pretty sure now after all the experience I've got with it and it's it's kind of just one of those things that's really fun to fly even not even videoing like just sightseeing I mean look at how much more I get to see with the drone than a lot of people get to see in their car which I think drones are awesome so uh, you know if you give someone a drone and they use it for the right intent I think they're a pretty cool piece of equipment but uh, anyways it's fun to get drone shots and uh, Tanner's getting ready to go out for engine heat I'm gonna put it back up in the air after this clip So we roll out 28th, uh, there's a pretty sick angle here and it's right on the back stretch. These cars are hauling past us so I'm going to go over there and get some shots of Tanner when he goes by and then uh, you guys will also see it on my vlog as well. It's pretty badass. Just saw those clips of Tanner in qualifying just freaking flying past us. I think this is the closest I've ever sat to a sprint car race. Maybe closer is Banks, but that's 360 or Arizona when I was on the inside tire, but that was also 410. So uh, you are next to the action here, and if there's an NASCAR style wreck and you go into that chain link, I don't think it's very safe, but you know what? It's badass. It's that's all I can say. It's badass. So I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. We'll be sitting there for the rest of the night. All right, so we just got word from Tanner. We are starting on the pole of heat number three. That's going to be awesome. Uh, this track looks pretty slick right now, slick to the top. So starting on the pole, he's going to be able to get some grip on the bottom. But uh, I've never been here before. I don't know how the heats are. I don't know how this is going to play out. They said they're not going to track prep, but uh, I don't know what to say. Tanner, go out there, rip. Good luck. This is going to be sweet.
so we freaking did it. I probably got mud all over my face because I was sweating so bad and all the dust coming up there, but we made the main event. Tanner started on the pull. Uh, I guess you could say the start was a little controversial. I think it was a jump for sure, but uh, you know, I didn't, I'm not the race director. I don't make the rules. So Tanner would have won that deal if he had a, got a fair start in my opinion, but dude, that was badass. He got there. He actually ran down the leader a good amount. And then, uh, you know, it was kind of just a one lane follow the leader, but Tanner was the only one moving forward, which is pretty badass. And uh, all I know is we're in an all-star main event, so badass driving by Tanner. This is going to be a fun 40 laps tonight. Right there, a tough way to end the night, but a fast race car. A top 20 run, 19th, I think, but uh, not a So we're down here at the exit of two, actually, and it is slick to no curb. You can see it slicks straight off. And uh, this is badass. This track right here is so slick, and that's what Tanner really thrives in. And uh, there's just just faint spots of grip that you really got to catch so I don't know how this main's going to be and I don't know what to look forward to but uh, all I know is hope Tanner can go forward and it's going to be fun to watch. clips you just saw were of the main event. The main event is now over. We have a good a little crowd over here already. Everyone coming to talk to Tanner. It's pretty cool to see, but uh, we ended up starting 14th and then we finished 24th. But you know, in the end, all it is is Tanner's learning. So, you know, it took him a good amount of the race just to get up there and be able to get laps to start unlapping himself actually and racing some of the guys back. But uh, all in all, I think it was a good run for him. And a quick word while he's grabbing shirts, Tanner. Sure. Man, I, I kind of, you know, disappointing result. Obviously we want to run better, but like at the end I really felt comfortable. It just yeah. took me a long long time to get going and I think at the same time like as I'm learning driving we're trying to figure out the setup as well to tracks we've never been to. So like we honestly were kind of free. We maybe could add a different gear and just little things that you know to be perfect. But man um, you know you guys did you guys ever did a great job all night long. You know we put it in the show and um, our results are improving through two nights so we just can keep going forward. Absolutely. And I think one of the main things to talk about here is we always mention on the podcast gathering tools and what that really means means is going to each race, each track with a new mentality and using the tools that you learn from each race and each track. You may have learned one thing, but hey, going into the next race, you're taking those tools, that one thing you learned with you, and you're putting them in your toolbox. So in the end, when you have all your tools, someday you're going to be fast winning everything like Kyle Larson. So we're on the way to do that. It's just every race, every lap at a time. So it's a little bit later actually, let me grab my phone and check, but it's 1040 right now, 1041 actually, and we still have a decent sized crowd here, but literally after the 305 main was over, we had so many people over here 
it's awesome. I mean, all these other guys are just leaving quick, but so many fans came over to say hi and whatnot. But, uh, you know, just a big thank you to all you guys that come out and say hi and whatnot. It means a lot to us, and we do love meeting all of you guys, and especially when you guys come buy merch and we sign it. Uh, it's just cool for us, and we're kind of living the dream, and it's awesome to see everyone still here. And uh, we're always going to be the last ones here until every person is met because that's what we try to do. But when everyone is done over here, I'm going to try to go out on the track with Tanner. We'll get a final clip, wrap this vlog up. But I uh, hope you guys all have enjoyed so far. Thank you to everyone who came out and said hi today. It was awesome. Uh, I love meeting all you guys. It's so cool, like I say every time, and I can't just say thank you enough. It really does show what we have started and what we dream to grow into one of the biggest fan bases on YouTube and at the racetrack. So as I always say, my name is Benaguchi and just because it's a ship box don't mean it ain't fast. I will see you all for night three for the all-star circuit of champions. See ya.